Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of the Google Form gizmos that I'm creating just because it's a little bit different than we've typically done in class. I think the easy way to easiest way to do these is to basically pull up two windows kind of like I have here so that you have your gizmo on one window so that you can manipulate it and then you have the Google Form kind of where you'll be sharing your answers in the, the other one. Um, as far as the greenhouse effect one, um, just a couple different features that it has. This bar down here are the actual greenhouse gases. So obviously the higher percentage means the more of those gases that we have in the atmosphere at that time. Um, it's also gonna let you change the speed so that when you hit play, maybe it'll go faster or slower. And then we've got our time up here and it also is gonna give you the um, day and you can kind of see the days pass right there, the days and the nights. Um, a couple tabs up here that you'll be using are just the table tab. Um, the heat in just means the heat that's like entering our atmosphere. Heat out would be that's leaving because those are two different things. And then that would be how the temperature is changing through time. The bar chart will play with the same type of info. You can see how temperature is going to change throughout the day. And again, you can pause it or see the numerical values. And then the same with the heat flow in and the heat flow that we have leaving our atmosphere. And then you'll also have the graph, which is going to display those last three things as well. You can see there's just going to be some variation throughout the day for some of those as well. So basically, just do the gizmo like we usually do. I tried to put our instructions here. It's in the exact same order. And you'll just type out the, your answers um, down here and make sure that you have all the setup preferences. And then you should be good to go once you are done. You will submit the form and then don't forget the five assessment questions. That's it.